As far as I can tell, there are three factors that make quartzite story explosive. The history, which dates back to the early settlers and what, of course, those settlers and traders came here for, which is the mining and gemstone business. The geography, which includes its location out in the middle of nowhere and also kind of being a watering hole between Los Angeles and Phoenix, something like 125 miles from the nearest town of any notable size. And, of course, the insanely quirky characters that comprise its population. The characters that wind up in Quartzite are largely attracted to the first two factors, so I guess we can start there. What kind of personality is attracted to the nomadic lifestyle and those that end up here? Mm -hmm. There's Loretta Warner. She's the vice mayor of the town. She also happens to be an ex-secret service agent or something like that. Quartzite personalities. That's, that, it, that is definitely an interesting question. All okay. right. There's a squeaky voice local newspaper reporter. It's just this little, quirky little town in the middle of nowhere. You don't think anything happens, because that's what everybody thinks. It's a sleepy little quartzite. Nothing happens here. But if you look back and you start peeling back those layers on the onion, you start realizing what's really going on here and what's gone on. It's, it's crazy. Thank you very much. Those of us that live here during the summertime, we're considered the oddballs. <laughs> brum, brum. <laughs> It's a wide spectrum of who comes here. Everything. There's no stereotype. I mean, I've met the full gamut of personalities and people and from places. I mean, there's, there's no stereotype at all. It's a true melting pot. There's something really special about Quartzite. Then there's Rain Golden Bear, the litigious tabloid editor with facial tattooing who pretends to be a Native American. Well, you've met, you've met Rain. Okay, she's an eccentric character. There are sacred sites around Quartzite, and Quartzite is in the middle of those sacred sites. So people may be feeling that there is something special and they don't even know what it is. There's also a veritable army of quirky locals that add to the very unique flavor of the town. Have you met the naked bookseller? One of the Quartzite's most well-known residents. He was actually a musician and a comedy writer. Before I became a naked bookseller on the main street of Quartzite, Arizona, I spent 25 years as Sweet Pie. I was a naked boogie woogie and blues piano comedy cabaret performer who worked starting in Vermont in the ski areas, branching out through all New England into colleges, beach resorts, and coast to coast and north and south in all the provinces of Canada. And we ended up here, much to my surprise, a town willing to tolerate a naked guy in a G-string <laughs> selling books on Main <laughs> Street. Makes Quartzite a pretty unusual place. He's a character. Characters like that find homes in Quartzite. We're gonna hug a cactus. And I mean, you know, this is uh, Ash Jack the movie. We're gonna do this thing the right way, or we're not gonna do it at all. I love you, Arizona. Oh, God damn it, that's gonna leave a mark, huh? God damn it. Don't try, is it home, kids? Oh, how am I gonna get out there? I'm impaled here. I'm impaled. Merry, Merry Christmas. We're going all out for you here, guys. I mean, all out. Have some mistletoe. Is there something in the water? Or in the heat? It's crazy. Then, of course, there's the mayor, Norm Simpson. George Washington Connors uh, was mainly known as Buck Connors. Norm not only runs an RV park and the local restaurant in town. I just did this at the cemetery a couple of weeks ago, the whole, whole thing, only I get in character. But he also is an impersonator for the illustrious early 20th century B-movie actor, Buck Connor. In many ways, Buck Connor exemplifies the story of every resident that ends up here. Our mayor of Quartzite is Norm Simpson. He actually 
found out that he looks like Buck Connors uh, in Buck Connors' um, last years of his life. Well, that's because he looks like Buck Connors. Yeah. Well, he doesn't really, but... Good afternoon. My name is Norm Simpson. I'm the court site mayor. And I'm going to give you a short presentation of what we will be doing at the cemetery with the uh, walk in the past with our honoring our pioneers.